Michelle and I work for California State Parks in the beautiful Oceano Dunes District. In this video, we're going to learn just how monarch butterflies are counted within our grove and how scientists try to track them as they make their migration to overwintering sites in California. Parts of their migration are still a mystery to scientists. Monarch butterflies are difficult to track and monitor as they fly. One way scientists try to learn more about their migration is through tagging. Tagging is conducted by trained individuals and involves gently placing a small, lightweight sticker on the wings of butterflies, specifically the discal cell on the monarch's hind wing. The discal cell is in the shape of a mitten and is highlighted here in red. The tags are placed on the discal cell because the location is close to the monarch's center of lift and gravity, which means the stickers will not affect their flying. It's also the strongest part of the wing. Scientists tag monarchs with small stickers that have unique codes so they can tell the monarchs apart. These codes can be a series of numbers and letters. Tags also include information on who to contact if you see a monarch with a tag. Monarchs are tagged either before or during their migration south. They're recovered or spotted by someone at any point along their migration or during their overwintering time. As I mentioned earlier, scientists tag monarchs in order to learn more about their migration patterns in overwintering sites. There are a few other things scientists can learn from tagging monarchs as well. Where the migrating monarchs are coming from, how long it takes them to reach the overwintering sites, how many die as they make their migration, and also reasons why they have success finding overwintering sites, like the size of the butterfly, where they came from, when they started their migration, or even effects of weather. In one study conducted by Washington State University, scientists tagged 15,000 monarch butterflies to learn more about their migration paths. Of those 15,000, 60 of the monarchs were sighted. The information gained from this study helped the scientists learn where more nectaring flowers should be planted in order for the migrating monarchs to have enough nectar to maintain energy levels during their migration. This study also showed that on average, the monarchs were traveling up to 40 miles a day. Scientists believe they're able to do this by flying inside warm air currents in order to use less energy. Monarchs are pretty challenging to count while in flight, so instead a group of our scientists count them while they're in their clusters. Monarch butterflies can only fly if they're 55 degrees or warmer. They will start to fly as they warm up when sunlight hits the clusters. Our scientists take advantage of this and come into the grove while it's still cold outside and while the monarchs are still in their clusters. Let's learn a little bit more about counting. First, the scientists find a cluster and see how big of an area 10 monarchs takes up. Then they count out how many groups of 10 fit inside that cluster. If, for example, the group of 10 counted out fits 20 times inside that cluster, that means there are about 200 monarchs within that cluster. Some clusters in the past have been found to contain hundreds of monarchs. Each scientist counts the cluster on their own. Then once they're done counting individually, they come together and compare numbers for accuracy. Sometimes they have to count again if their numbers don't match well enough. Our scientists then count each of the remaining clusters inside the grove. Once all clusters have been counted in this way, the grand total of the grove is calculated. Binoculars. Binoculars are used to locate clusters. Anemometer. Anemometers are used to measure how high the butterflies are from the ground. They also use notebooks to record tree numbers and cluster heights. I'd say our state park scientists have a pretty cool job. Thank you for learning about tagging and counting monarch butterflies with me today. Until next time.